Hello dear students and welcome to this video. Here you will learn about all the online accessions of the Frankfurt University of Applied Sciences, such as your SID account, the HIS portal, Moodle, as well as VPN, and the library of the university. Let's start with the SID accounts. In order to sign into the academic portals, you need your SID account username. Former, you have already received in an email from the university when you first enrolled yourself in any course of study. Look for the mail address idm at cit.fra-us.de. There you will find instructions how to activate your SID account and his portal. In the case of missing the mentioned mail, please first check your spam folder, it might have landed there. If even then the mail is still missing, seek for assistance at the campus IT located in building 1, room 348. Once you receive the mail and activated the SID account, you will receive your personal academic mail address, which must be used when addressing the professors, the examination office, study bureau, as well as for the logins in the online portals. Please consider that the mentioned mail address is a necessity for all students, thereby you will receive all the administrative notifications. In addition, with your SID account you will obtain a central net drive with a storage capacity of 1000 MB and gain access to the central computer pool and thereby software provided by the university. With your SID data you can sign into the university Wi-Fi on the campus. Via the student VPN you obtain access to the university and thus to numerous databases and over 7000 ebooks. Besides, you receive discounted or even free software such as Adobe, Autodesk or Microsoft 365. Further, using your SID account you can activate your HIS accession. In the HIS portal you can enroll for exams, look at your achievements and more. And now I will tell you how that works. First, open your browser and visit the HIS website. The link for that you may find in the video description. If you are an applicant, your login will proceed using your application number and your date of birth. Here you can review your application status. If you are already a student, simply type your matriculation number in the username field. The password will be the initial password that was given to you after your enrollment. If you had a postal enrollment, your password was sent by the post as well. If you ever forget your password, either make contact to the study bureau, which is located in building 1, room 23 to 26, or simply write an email to the following address. Studienbüro at stuport.fra-us.de, which can be found on the top of the website. For both ways of contact, have your matriculation number with you, or mention it as a reference in the mail you are writing. Under General Administration, Allgemeine Verwaltung, you may change your address data or password. Under Administration of Study, Studiumsverwaltung, you can print or download your certificate of study of the previous or current year, choosing versions with and without your matriculation number. The same you may do with your BAföG certificate. Using exam administration, Prüfungsverwaltung, you can enroll and disenroll for exams. Before accepting, please read information carefully. Now we will show you single modules. Another click on those will show you detailed information about the exam. Seek the name of your professor and click on Registration of Exam, Prüfung anmelden. In Examination List, Leistungsübersicht, you can review or print your performance record. Here you can simply download your test certificates. If you are enrolled in multiple courses of study, they will be all displayed in your performance record. Added password, password ändern, is self-explaining. If you have not already changed it, you can do so there. On the top of the site you see Students Corner, Studentisches Leben, and Exam Management, Prüfungsordnung. By clicking on Exam Management, all modules concerning your course of study will be displayed. If you select any module, it will show you what type of exam it is related to. On the student's corner, you will reach the e-learning portal, Moodle, which I will now explain in detail. Let's first answer the question, what Moodle is. Moodle is a learning platform as an online support for both students and professors. Here you obtain access to the courses and their learning contents, contact lecturers and much more. Let me now show you how to sign in. If this is the first time you use Moodle, click on Create New Account, Neuen Zugang anlegen. Then you insert your personal data in the given form. 
As mentioned earlier, you need to work with your academic webmail address. Thus, insert a former into the field email address. Once you have filled out and submitted the form, an email will be sent to your academic mail address, which you need to confirm by clicking on the enclosed link. Now you are signed in. Here you can search for courses by clicking on Kurse suchen, Search Courses, and then Erweiterte Suche, Advanced Search. The mentioned tabs are displayed on the top of the site, which remain in the German language even after changing the website's language format. For most of the courses, an enrollment key is required, which will be communicated by lecturers of the specific courses. Once enrolled, with the mentioned key you have access to the course's learning content. Under Rubriken, Rubrics, all the courses of study and their respective Moodle courses are shown. Again, even in the English format of Moodle, the Format tab will not be translated to English. For changing the language format of Moodle, you may use this tab. If you are still uncertain about some matters regarding Moodle, click here on Hilfe, Help. By clicking on the Joining tab, Support Hub, you will find detailed instructions respectively as well. Here, due to the COVID-19 situation, you will find several offers supporting you to successfully complete your studies, even in these circumstances. On the left side, you see the dashboard. Here you will see your already enrolled courses. At Startseite, Site Home, you may read all information concerning Moodle. And here below, you can once again take a look at your courses. Here is also a calendar with which you can create a schedule for yourself. On the left, you can find an overview of your courses. If you want to enroll for a module of the coming semester, you also may do that via Moodle. Here on the right, the registration's deadlines are displayed. On the top, next to your username, there is the chat. Here you can write messages to your lecturers, as well as to your fellow students. That's it with Moodle. Now I'll tell you a few things about how to use your academic mail address. With the link in the video description, you get to the home page. First, you need to use your access data of your SID account. Once signed in, you may write emails to your fellow students or lecturers. At Contacts, you may create a personal directory. At Settings, you may adjust display, user interface and more. Next up, I would like to explain to you how to use VPN, the virtual private network. Using the VPN, you can safely and simply exchange data with the university from home. For instance, you gain entrance to numerous databases and ebooks of the library. For that, just visit the university website and click on Quick Links to find facilities and service. Einrichtungen und Service. If you scroll down, you will find Campus IT. Then you simply click on VPN and find all information regarding VPN for different operating systems. Just select the suiting operating system and carefully follow the description. As an example, I will show you the procedure using an iOS system. In order to start the installation, scroll down and download the required configuration data. Afterwards, visit the website tunnelblick.net slash downloads.html. There, search for the current stable version of Tunnelblick and download it. Now drag and drop the configuration data on your desktop and open Tunnelblick. Following, you are asked to insert your device password. Do so and confirm with OK. Once received the confirmation note, drag the app to your dock. Now open the Tunnelblick program and drag the configuration data into the left column of the program. The for you relevant file name is vpn underscore fh minus pub dot conf. Once accomplished, install the former and insert your password again. On the upper toolbar, a Tunnelblick icon is displayed. Click on vpn underscore fh minus pub 
connect, verbinden. Now you are asked to log in using your SID accession data. After the login, a green status indicator appears. That means your connection is a success. If you find trouble with installing the VPN clients or have questions regarding technical problems, contact the campus IT of the university in Building 1, Room 348. Please consider the opening hours which can be found on the university website. Afterwards, I will tell you how you can use the online services of the library. Signing into the library is only necessary if you plan to lend books or similar. Always consider the opening hours of the library. At the moment, due to the COVID-19 situation, the library remains closed for now. Students of the Frankfurt University of Applied Sciences can sign in using their academic mail address. All others need to wait until the library reopens. In order to activate your study chip, send an email with following data and documents to ausleihe at bibl.fra-us.de Your department. A scan or photo of your study chip. And they scan a photo of a valid identification document from which your current address is deducible. For instance, an identity card or passport, plus a current registration card or residence permit in card form. Your study chip will then be activated and serve as a library card. Check the video description to review the mail address if you couldn't catch it in the beginning. Lending of books and media. All the inventory, with the exception of the historic precious collection, are freely accessible stored on four floors. Books and media that you would like to borrow you may find and lend with a study chip, dash library card, at a service desk or self-service machine. The normal lending period is 28 days that includes all books without markings, except magazines, norms and theses, and USB sticks which are available at the service desk. The short-term lending is until the next opening day, as well as over weekends and closure days. There is no extension possible. That includes Books with a short-term lending tag, Kurzausleihe, both inside and on the cover, or with a remark, Kurzausleihe short-term lending, in the catalog, as well as locker keys which are only available for one day. Not lendable means that the usage of the book or media of interest is only allowed within the library. That includes Books with a tag not lendable, nicht ausleihbar, both inside and on the cover, or with a remark not lendable, nicht ausleihbar in the catalog, in addition magazines, norms and historic inventory, the reserved book collection selected by the lecturers. Finally, academic theses. After lending books and media which are lendable, you receive a receipt with a return date. Return options with accounting can both be found on the ground floor, at the service desk or at the self-service machines. One return option without accounting is placing the borrowed book into the return container standing next to the entrance of the library, which is also possible outside the opening hours. On the university website, under Quick Links, you can find the function Library, Bibliothek. There you can find the opening hours of the library. If you would like to find literature, you may do so using the library catalog. In the search field, you can insert terms, book titles, authors and more. As an example, I will now search for social work. An overview of the available literature will be displayed including books, ebooks, magazines and similar. The green point indicates that a book or media of interest is available, whereas a red point indicates the former being already lent. If you would like to lend a book, note down its location in a library by clicking on Medienstandort Media Location next to Shelfmark Signatur. It might make things easier. Ebooks you may simply download by clicking zum Volltext, Fulltext. On the left side there is an advanced search window to refine your request. At my account, mein Konto, you may log in using your accession data and review your reservations, fines and more. Databases and e-journals can be found here as well. That does it for the library. And you have now reached the end of the video. I hope that everything was comprehensible and made you well prepared for your comic studies.